Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about some of my favourite plants. Right then, I think we'll just get started, shall we? Uh, I've been around the house and i picked up one or two of the plants. Actually, I've got quite a few, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through them all today. But I've picked up quite a few that I like, that I like at the moment because it's very difficult isn't it because we like them all and we buy them all all the time it's so terrible anyway one of them I'm going to show you straight away is my little skin dapsis silver satin exotic exotica isn't she lovely she has wonderful soft satiny leaves silvery types of markings quite beautiful i understand that in the wild because there are pothos um, they grow quite tall and she can grow up to 10 feet but apparently in a home environment they're usually around three foot or so this is what i read um but anyway she is a pothos she um apparently can grow up rocks as well as trees. Now pothos are known for growing up trees um, but she can actually grow up rocks or any hard surface. Um, they have amazing little whatever they're called grippers. <laughs> you can see one here and um, they're, they're very strong <clears throat> being able to do that I think and they come from India, Malaysia and I think the Philippines. It could be some other places as well. So I thought that would be my first one. And my next one is Shield. This is Regal Shield. I think she's really quite lovely. Now I'm gonna to try to get her as close to the camera as I can. And she is going to be about this size maybe a little bit bigger, but her leaves are going to get a lot bigger individually. So the trick is to keep her happy so that she doesn't drop her leaves because they don't have that many leaves when they're um, indoors. I'm not sure about outdoors. And I think that she's quite a statement. I think she's just lovely. And she's got these wonderful like veins on the back there really nice and um, if you know the plant black velvet she is the one of the parents of regal shield and the other parent is odora who can grow massive very big huge leaves and between the two plants which was black velvet not so big odora really big we have this sort of medium-sized plant with deepish green leaves and beautiful shaped, uh, shield-like shaped um, leaves. Now I did speak about her and some of my other alocasias in my uh, last video that I did um, and that video uh, you can see in the descriptions uh, below. It was called um, elephant ear variegated alocasias and you know I had several of them so you can look at that and enjoy listening to the different uh, plants about where they came from, who created them, um, how big they're going to get, all kinds of things like that. It's quite a lot of um, interesting information. Now my other plant that I'd like to show you is this one which is a bit difficult to get but she is a stunner. And this is Florida Ghost. And I think that she is terrific. Can you see the different leaves, the different colours on these leaves? Some are pale green with a kind of whitish cream. Others are a deeper green. And the shape of these leaves are, is just wonderful. 
and they come from South America. She's a philodendron, just in case you didn't know. And I've just been enjoying looking at her. I have her in the living room at the moment. They say that she needs a lot of humidity. I haven't seen any signs yet um, of difficulty with her, but I'll, I might put her in the kitchen or the bathroom if, if I do have some problems. But if you have one of these, they say if the leaves start to curl, um, as that one leaf is there, then um, they need more humidity or perhaps it's just that they need some water. But um, she's just terrific. I thought she was wonderful. She's quite big. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Another one of my favourites is Dotty. Begonia Dotty. And she, you've probably seen them before, is a species. And look, she's had some flowers. Isn't that just beautiful? They're just starting to drop off the odd one now. And she's got lovely leaves, about seven, eight inches long. And she has grown a lot since I bought her. She's grown longer leaves. She's had a couple of extra leaves because she wasn't that big when I had her. But in this last year, she has shot off, so she's quite fast growing and um, apparently she can get quite bushy. So I'm looking forward to, to that. And she's loving, she looks lovely, doesn't she? Absolutely beautiful. And my other one, um, I'm going to show you, is Frydeck, which I suppose you've, might have seen a few times if you watch us enthusiasts. Just look at the leaf colour on this plant. It is turif. And I don't know if you can see underneath, but she has a lot of baby leaves. And she's going to get very bushy. Her leaves are going to get very big. She's got like a yellow and a green. She's got white and green. She's got, I'm not sure what this one is. This one's a lime and green. You know, I mean, these colours. And, and this one is like a, an alba almost. I mean, look at that. And here. So, I mean, she's just terrific. And then there's this one, which is quite dark. Absolutely terrific. I just love Friday. So she's one of mine. I'm keeping a close eye on her. I don't want anything to go wrong. Um, <clears throat> I am thinking about putting some plants into um, the pond, which a lot of people are doing. Um, but I'm just going to take my time about that. I'm not going to rush into that. Um, another one over here is Zabrina. Isn't she just lovely? Talk about style and class. Just look at this. And she's got such beautiful markings and such elegance and grace. For a plant, she's really quite nice. I think she's just beautiful. And her, her leaves are like cups. Can you see this? They're like cups, as if they catch the water in the forests. So wonderful. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So that's my lovely zebra. She comes from the islands in the Philippines. So beautiful with the sunshine and the sea. So lovely. And this is another little favourite I've had recently. My um my Monstera Thai constellation. Isn't she lovely? I've been really enjoying her. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Um, and uh, never got round to it. And then another one of mine that I like, which I have shown you before, is um, this one. Jacqueline. Isn't she lovely? And she's from Indonesia 
and these leaves are going to be huge and she's going to be very bushy so if you were thinking about having one of these they're great when they're little but they will get quite big and she's just lovely I've been it, it, while she's a baby she's just driving me crazy I keep looking across at her and her lovely beautiful little leaves and look at these little ones and they're growing a lot of leaves um, she's a fast grower by the way because she was very small and she's quite big now so <laughs> So she's another one. And then, of course, um, a favourite of another favourite of mine is this one, which I'm just wondering how I'm going to put this on the table. Because she's so big, I can see I'm going to have problems. Wish me luck. Here she comes. Whee! It's not the golden pothos. This is the Hawaiian queen. Isn't she lovely? I haven't got her on a pole yet, so I think it's time I did because all this growth has happened this summer. I mean, it, she's just literally shot up. But the difference is that she has more markings and a kind of uh, yellowy green glow. I'm not sure how much you can see. Can you hear that owl? There's an owl around me outside because I live in the countryside yeah anyway this Hawaiian one is beautiful and she's going to grow huge quite big leaves you know like sort of hand size and I mean just look at some of these leaves terrific colouring beautiful and the more I put her in the sun the more the colour comes up this is like a, a creamy yellow almost like a half moon lovely beautiful so i'm really pleased with her her growth i mean she's just woof, crazy all these leaves just look at them beautiful so she's growing really well in the lounge um i don't have any problems with her um regarding um humidity but obviously once your radiators go on and, and the oh, she's not going to stand up now and the fires go on and all of that we're definitely going to have to look out for our plants because that dry air they are not going to like that well i think that's just about all i have got this one um beautiful santaveria and she is black coral look at those leaves they are shooting up and she's producing new leaves i mean she's really come on i've probably had her two years maybe maybe 18 months i'm not sure but she was down here somewhere and she's just gone whoosh like that really good and she's got new little baby leaves at the bottom and she's so lovely so beautiful those markings are beautiful and she's so tall so that's just about it for me now um i just thought i'd have a collection just to run through today to show you and some of them you've seen some of them you haven't and my lovely florida ghost here i think perhaps she, she and the uh synopsis at the, at the moment the um, skin gapsis <laughs> skin dapsis is probably my favorite at the moment anyway okay then well i hope you've enjoyed looking at some of my plants and of course i've got some others over in the back there but everything else is in the lounge and the kitchen oh but um i'll probably do another tour another time and show you some more so i just thought i'd like to thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my favorite plants um, I shall be doing this now and again, bringing some different ones out to show you. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you again later.